Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this video with Elon where I'm going to take you guys through an obstacle park that we visited. So this is one of the options that we went to to help get Elon schooling off-site, getting ready for that Mustang challenge that's coming up where we're going to be going to Maryland to compete and it's a roughly 90 day challenge where you get 90 days with your Mustang. You basically get them wild. These guys were just captured and rounded up in February. So humans are very new to them. This is all new stuff. And we'll be going to Maryland to compete. And one of the classes is a trail class. Normally they don't have anything nearly as complicated as what we're doing right here. This was Elon doing a big ditch and he started to run out there. So I can just bring him back in so that way he knows he's supposed to actually just walk out. But even though the stuff that we're going to see in Maryland isn't quite like what we're doing here, the whole idea is that we're just trying new experiences that are different together, that are potentially a little bit scary, and overcoming them together. So that way when we get to Maryland and we continue on in our future together, that he's just thinking things are fun, we can trust our human, and everything is okay. Here's kind of a neat one with the little black tires all on the sides. He looked at it a little bit, but was pretty, pretty good to do that. And there were quite a few different options of things to do, and they were very spread out. So we had to travel around a pretty big field to be able to do all these different obstacles. We practiced trotting a few of them, jumping different things. When we go to the competition, there will probably be a little jump to do. So that was good to practice. This is a pretty easy bridge here. It's basically a, just a piece of raised big uh, plywood that we went over. And then I thought I'd start to show him how to do a gate because my goal for Elon is after we get back from Maryland, we'll be really focusing on the riding portion of his training. And probably he will be the horse that I'm gonna try to take to Texas for the Mustang class. For the EXCA, which is Extreme Cowboy, so it's a ridden obstacle course that's based on speed. I did it a couple years ago with Kaibu, and we finished reserve champion by just half a point. It was a really close obstacle race, so you can definitely check out those videos from a couple years ago doing that. So I'm looking forward to hopefully going to Texas again this year with Elon. He's seems to be pretty great with obstacles. He's a good thinker, tries different things. Here's a little look at doing some sideways over some logs and then a little back up and then heading over to do a sideways over this log. He seems pretty rational about things. His riding skills right now, Ali has been focusing on doing those with him and he's been riding walk trot around pretty nicely. And it's just a matter of finishing up those skills when I get back from Maryland. So right now we're really just focusing on all the in-hand stuff, making sure that we're ready for Maryland, trying to set him up for success to be really comfortable with that. And all of these obstacles are going to help for Texas, but they'll also help for Maryland, even though they're probably not going to have a tire in the competition ring. It doesn't really matter. We're just practicing different things together, exploring different experiences and making sure that he's okay following me around. This next obstacle that we're coming up to is a teeter-totter, but it's a very easy teeter-totter because it's very wide and it doesn't actually wobble all that much. And of course, Elon barely even flinches at it. He's just kind of like, ah, whatever. It was really, really easy. He does these little tires and he's actually pretty careful with his feet. He stays on the tire. In contrast, you guys are going to see Timmy's video. I'll get that up for you guys later. And Timmy struggles a little bit more with being able to go through uh, or turn around in the tires. Same thing with this thing here. This is a set of tires that I'm asking him to back through. And I purposely did not walk him forwards through it first because I wanted to see how much preparation it would take to be able to get him to back his butt up through the tire. So I kind of took my time as he got positioned there. I wanted to rub him. He knows that it's behind there, so he's kind of trying to avoid it. So he's not sure that he wants to back his butt up into the tire area. So I kind of try to position him a little bit. I'm being consistent 
a little bit firm but not scary or anything like that and then when he does get lined up and gets his butt backed up in a step there I'm going to offer him some positive reinforcement giving him a minute to just breathe and be okay with that and then we continue on with that so you can see I just gave him a little cookie there for getting between the tires and then now we're going to keep on backing up between those tires and it's a bit of a windy path. It's kind of a neat way to use a bunch of old tires to do this kind of, I'd used it as a back through, but you could go forwards through it as well. It's uh, not big enough or wide enough, I should say, to side pass through it. So you pretty much you're going forwards or you're going backwards through it. It's kind of a neat thing. It's visually a little bit intimidating for the horses and it's pretty windy. It's kind of a, a neat thing to have for sure. So we finish our little back through there. He did it really nicely, pretty smoothly. Timmy, in contrast, struggles a bit more through that to get through it the first time. He finds it a little bit more scary, isn't really sure that he wants to do that. But that's not really surprising because Timmy seems to be the one that's more intimidated by obstacles like this. But he's not as timid when it comes to people and people running up beside him and things like that. So they both have their different strengths. Here, after Elon had done it the first time, he just goes right through the second time, finds that no big deal to go in there. Of course, I give him a cookie once he gets inside because I want him to know that when he tries and he does good stuff like that, that he's going to get rewarded. And then just continuing to ask him to back up here. One of the things for Elon as he's backing up here, he tends to hold his body pretty upright. So that's one of the things that we have to work on is trying to get him to lower his posture, lower his head a little bit more as he's backing up to see if we can get him to use himself a little bit better and build up that top line a little bit. Whereas Timmy seems to do that a little bit more naturally. So they definitely have different strengths there. This one, I'm going to let you guys listen to how crackly this tarp thing is. So it's a really crackly tarp, kind of um, interesting to walk across. And then when we go through this time, something surprising happens. So I'm going to put that in slow motion. You can't really see it, but there's actually a grasshopper that jumps up right in front of his nose and surprises him. So he kind of jumps up a little bit. He does kind of kick me in the hand a little bit there. It wasn't mean or intentional. So we just continue and walk out of it. And then, of course, we're going to turn around and do that again. Uh, but that was the last obstacle we did. And I think it's a pretty scary, intimidating looking obstacle. And the fact that he just walked through it the the first time through without much thought. And then we go through again and, and no big deal. No grasshopper jumps up in front of us. So all in all, a really successful obstacle school. Thanks for watching.